ஹாய் வீவர்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு ருஹீஸ் ரெசிபீஸ் டுடே ஐ எம் கோயிங் டு ஷேர் மை குக்கிங் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் டியூரிங் ஹெஃப் தர் டைம் ஐ ஹவ் என்க்ளோஸ்ட் ஆல் தி ரெசிபீஸ் தட் ஐ ஹவ் குக் டுடே I am going to make chicken biryani today. For that I have taken 2 cups of basmati rice and wash and soak this in water. This soak for 30 minutes. Meanwhile I will start making the pudding. Before preparing the pudding, we have to soak the agar agar in water. I have taken 10 grams of agar agar. Let it soak for 10 to 15 minutes. Next take a pan and boil 1 liter of milk. Once milk comes to boil, add 2 tsp of condensed milk. If you don't have condensed milk, you can skip this. This is just to get the creamy texture. Next add 2 tablespoon of sugar. If you are not adding condensed milk, add 5 tablespoon of sugar. Keep stirring the milk for 5 to 10 minutes in low flame. Drain out the water from agar agar and add one lee strands to the milk. Now keep stirring this until all the agar agar dissolves completely. Make sure there are no strands left else the pudding will become hard. Now the agar agar has dissolved completely. Let's transfer this to the plate to set. I'm adding some chopped almonds and cashews. This is optional. If you don't have, you can skip this. Let me put this into refrigerator for 30 minutes. Let me make fruit and cream dessert as well. This is very delicious one and it's my favorite. Take any fruit of your choice and cut them into very small pieces. Take on some grapes, one apple, three small oranges, one mango, one banana. and one pomegranate you can add any fruits you want for the cream i'm using the puff pick cream you can also use the fresh cream here take equal quantity of fruit and cream i took 250 g of fruits so i am taking 250 ml of cream add 200 g of granulated sugar and mix this until the sugar dissolves i'm going to use electric beater to get my work done fast you can also mix this using the spoon but that will take some little time The sugar has all dissolved now. Now add the prepared cream to this fruit mixture and mix it well. Anishing I made some jellies. I used the Foster Close to Gelatin powder. Nothing special. I just followed the instructions given at the back and made this. For the biryani I am going to use marinated chicken. I have given the ingredients that I use for marination in the description box. Take a pressure pan and heat 200 ml of oil. Add 8 cloves, 4 cardamoms, 2 cinnamons and 1 bay leaf. Once it's butters, add 5 onions finely chopped. Add 3 tablespoon of salt and sort this until onion becomes translucent. For the pressure cooker biryani, it is not necessary that onion turns golden brown. 
At this stage add 1 tablespoon of ginger garlic paste and sort this until the raw smell goes. Next add the marinated chicken and sort this for 10 minutes. Add 4 tomatoes finely chopped. 4 green chillies. Now mix all this and cook until the tomatoes turn soft. Drain out the water and also make sure that the chicken is well cooked. Once chicken is well cooked, add 50 grams of curd. Mix this and cook for another 5 minutes. Unlike dum biryani, we don't need to cook till the oil separates out. It is enough to cook till the raw smell of masala goes off. The masala is cooked now. The ratio of rice and water is 1 is to 1 and half. I took 2 cups of rice so I am adding 3 cups of water. Then add the rice. At this stage check for salt if required. Finally add handful of chopped coriander and mint leaves. Add 1 lemon juice. Now mix all this and pressure cook for 1 to 2 whistles. The biryani is ready now. Let's keep this aside and start making the chicken pockets. Let's prepare the filling now. For this I am taking 200 gram of boneless chicken and grinding it into fine paste. Let me transfer this to one bowl and keep. Now take a pan, heat 2 tablespoon of oil. Add one finely chopped onion. 1 teaspoon of salt. Now sort this until onion becomes translucent. Now add the minced chicken and sort it until all the water drains out from the chicken. Then add 1 teaspoon of ginger garlic paste and sort this until its raw smell goes. Add 1 green chilli, quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder, quarter teaspoon of coriander powder, and 1 teaspoon of chilli powder. Now mix all this and sort this for 5 to 10 minutes. Lastly add half green capsicum finely chopped. That's it the filling is ready now. Let me transfer it to a plate to cool down. This is very easy filling and you can use this for making samosas also. Let's stuff the bread now. Remove the sides of the bread. We roll it to very thin sheet. Place the chicken stuffing and some cheese. Fold this and apply water on the sides to seal it. For the top and the bottom, dip it in a water and just press with the palm. Prepare as many as you want in a similar way. Make sure you seal the bread properly, if not oil would enter inside while frying. 
Heat oil in a kadai and fry this until it becomes golden brown on both the sides. Next I am going to make lemon mint juice. For this I have taken half bunch of mint leaves. Add water to this and grind this in a mixture grinder. Next add 3 lemon juice, few ice cubes, 100 gram of granulated sugar and another cup of water. Give 1 or 2 pulses in the mixture grinder. That's it the juice is ready now. Now filter this using a strainer. That's it we have prepared everything now. Let me set the table for Hiftar it's already time. The agar agar we have kept in refrigerator has also set. I like to top this off with either caramel or chocolate syrup. Today I am going to top this with chocolate syrup. I forgot to mention that I already prepared the ganji while making the biryani. I hope you all like my video today. If you like my recipes, please do not forget to subscribe my channel and enable the notification button so that you not miss any updates.